have been wanting to challenge myself to do art again, like in a week or so, for a while now. And today and yesterday I've been watching Lee Ellickson's videos, she's done two videos. One of them um, is like trying to fill a sketchbook and the other one is uh, making art every day for a week. So that has kind of pushed me, <laughs> I've watched those videos multiple times, but they've pushed me to try and use this week to try and do <laughs> something every day, which is going to be a big leap because I haven't been doing too much lately. So I've got a few things that I've been meaning to do that are on my to-do list, either that or I've like started them and I haven't finished them yet. So I want to definitely try and finish some of those things off. The first thing is a zine that I was making. <coughs> it was on my birthday when we went to a castle called Craft Castle. The zine was supposed to be <laughs> done on the day, but uh, it's almost been like two, three weeks. Wait, what day is it? No, oh my god, it's been like a month. <laughs> it's been more than a month. <laughs> so. <laughs> I have, I failed at that, but I'm, I want, I literally have like three pages left. I also want to do the current Still Here, Still Life on their Instagram. They've got a photo up that piqued my interest, so I want to do that with ink. And then over here there's also another zine that I've been doing that again, I literally have like three pages for it that I just need to finish off. And then I've been working on a comic for Breath of the, it's based on Breath of the Wild 2. It's like just a random idea that I thought of literally when I woke up. <laughs> just like a, a plot idea. So I've been working on that sketching and I want to push myself to actually do it and finish it. So yeah, that is my <laughs> very long list of things I want to do. Again, I'm not going to do that all in one week, but it's nice to have a, a good range of things to choose from because nowadays that's kind of what I need because it's very difficult to force myself to do one specific thing. Okay, so heads up, I chose both the worst and kind of the best week to do this. Um, we realized that there was an event going on this week where there's like, tons of galleries and artists showcasing their work all over the place, like in different cities and villages near me. It's called H Art, or Heart, I guess is what it's meant to be called. So it was the worst week because we ended up going to a lot of these places. We kind of like <laughs> hunted them down a bit. And we went almost every day of the week, like out to a city or a village, like out for the day. So I ended up not having all that much time to actually make art. I ended up just doing very small bursts of art and not like anything big. And any paintings I did, I could only like work on them over one or two days. But it was the best time to choose to do this challenge because all the artwork that I looked at was really inspiring. <laughs> I really enjoyed looking at it all and talking to some of the artists and it was really inspiring and it made me want to try new things out and do certain things and I had new ideas and it was good. But yeah, so just a heads up, I don't do that much <laughs> artwork, like big chunks of artwork. I just do like lots of little things, but I did still just about manage to do something every day. I did miss one day out because I was literally out like, the whole day and it was impossible for me to <laughs> do anything, um, but you'll see. So this is the same day as the voiceover from before. <laughs> uh, so this is day one and the, those three images that you saw at the beginning of this segment. That was the only footage I was able to get of the first hard place that I went to. It was in a little village 
that my mum and I went to because I had an appointment and it was in the village's church which we had actually like visited a few days before while the whole gallery was being set up so we knew to go there and yeah I didn't get much footage but it was nice <laughs> it was a good uh, variety of things a lot of pottery and jewelry which isn't as exciting for me because I obviously I prefer painting, paintings and stuff like that but yeah there was one artist that I've known about for a few months now so I got kind of excited <laughs> when I saw his art and I got to talk to him in the end and he talked to and he talked about how he did his art like his process and it was really cool he uses alcohol inks which I've never used before so so I'm quite inspired <laughs> to take on yet another medium because I need that like a hole in the head <laughs> I haven't even like decided what, what kind of medium I pref I like but you know what let's add to the list <laughs> let's add our alcohol inks to it but anyway after we came back I decided to work on the croft zine that I spoke about earlier I decided to do some little like experimental collage because I had this pink paper that I hadn't used yet and I showed the photo that I took earlier of these pink flowers so I decided to try and make some pink blobs and then <laughs> outline it I, I did like how it turned out and I like how easy it was and quick I then went on to do a little watercolour piece of a landscape obviously it's still my photo of the same place it was I think at the back of the house slash castle where they had these rows of vines like it was a vineyard so I used some watercolors to to paint that out I don't show it in this video but I think I did finish it and I yeah I never show you the finished piece so sorry about that <laughs> but I did finish it <laughs> Okay, so now we're on to day two, where we went to a city near us called Hereford, and there was quite a few places dotted around, but I think we ended up going to three. We had the aim of going to two, but we found another one on the way, which was good. <laughs> yeah, we found three of them. One of them was in a hotel, and the artwork was really amazing, it was really cool. And we got to talk to one of the people who was, I don't know, looking after it, <laughs> running it, I don't know. But yeah, we got to talk about um, this society or like organization. I don't know what it's I can't remember what it's called, but it's like the Hereford Art Society or something. And we talked about how I might be able to get in and, you know, like join them and join them with whatever it is they do. So yeah, I need to look into that and see if it would be good because now that I'm not at university, I need to get myself out there, I guess, and just kind of try and see what's out there in terms of art and like the art landscape around me. So it might be good. Once we got back again, I got to trying to finish the Croft zine again. I was on the last page, so I decided to just do a little watercolor painting of the cake, the cake that I had because I was kind of low on ideas. I kind of ran out of that of ideas and photos at that point. So I painted the cake that I made for myself <laughs> for my birthday. It was a pretty good cake. It's probably the best cake I've ever made, it, it, aesthetically wise at least.
to day three and I officially finished the zine. I Here's a little flick through of some of the pages that I did. I finished off by doing this piece, this little watercolour piece. Um, so all I needed to do now was just add like a little title at the front, maybe something at the back. I do want to do a like a kind of a dust jacket for this, but it's not my priority, so I don't do that in this video. But I will do it eventually. So yeah, day three was a bit of a break from visiting HR places, but now this is day four, and I decided to paint the Still Here, Still Life photo. This was before, well, our plans changed a little bit. We were going to go out to a village a little while away from us, but in the end we decided to just go to the HR place that was right at our doorstep. We had one in the church, just literally down the road. So that was an easy one to go to. So after I did some of this painting, we went and had a look at it. And it was it was a good amount of work. We weren't expecting to see much because it is a really small place that we live in. <laughs> but there was a lot of stuff to see. It was more kind of like 3D based, like sculpture and jewelry and stuff. But again, it was still really good to see. Day five, we traveled over to a place called Ledbury, which we'd never been to before, but we'd been meaning to visit for a long time. So this was a good incentive to, to go, because there was a few hard places that I wanted to look at. It's a really beautiful village or city, I'm not sure what it is, but it's really steeped in history, <laughs> which is what we like, what I like.
out of the whole week and all the hard places that we went to, this was definitely my favourite one, this gallery. Um, these sketchbooks were just beautiful and the paintings that the same artist had done, I just loved them so much. I think she said she used um, soft pastels to do most of them and the colours and the atmosphere was so nice and I got to talk to her which was really nice. She, yeah, she's a really lovely person. Definitely my favourite artist and pieces out of all the things I saw. And again, uh, kind of making me want to <laughs> add soft pastels to my list of things to try. Although to be fair, I have wanted to use soft pastels for a long time. We also went to a little vegan place that's it's called Pot and Page. So it's about like vegan food but also books and you can sit down and read a book while you <laughs> wait for your food. I've been wanting to go to this place for a while so it was great to, to try it out finally. And they had a dog which I got friendly with. Definitely wasn't cheating on my dog Tilly. She'll never know it's fine.
think this is day six now. I've lost count, honestly. But I officially finished the Croft Castle zine. I did a little title and I and I did a little sketch on the front. I really love how it turned out. There's such a variety of art styles and mediums that I used and I think it's a really good representation of the day that we had, even if it was like two months late. <laughs> We went again to another place, another city or village. Again, I'm not sure. <laughs> so we went to another place. This is a little bit outside of the main village that we went to. It was like this garden that we've never been to or heard about before and it's so pretty. Like the fountain, or I, don't, I guess a water feature really, it was so cool. <laughs> I really loved, I, just, I loved all of it. It was so cool. And yeah, the art was nice too. <laughs> It was a very small place though, though I thought it would be a lot bigger, but it was still worth it. And then this is in the main village, like the main high street. This artist's work I really liked again. We had quite a few places that we wanted to visit this day, like five or six places. Um, and we managed to do almost all of them. One of them turned out to be closed because the times were different to the rest of the galleries. So yeah, it was about five places that we went to and they were all really nice, especially the hotel. It, it was such a grand room. It was really cool. <laughs> This is day seven and a couple of days afterwards as well. I thought I might as well add them in because at this point I was really tired from <laughs> all the traveling and I didn't really want to do any arts at all. It, I really had to push myself to do stuff. So I did miss out a day or two. So technically I didn't really do what, what I wanted, what I wanted to challenge myself with, but. I'm fine with that because it's not about just doing it in one week. I want to be able to do it, you know, all the time. So I'm probably going to make like a part two to this. <laughs> Maybe during a week when I'm not so busy going around places. But yeah, I still have that very long list of things that I want to do and finish. So I can include that into another video. But yeah, so this video didn't go exactly how I planned it. It ended up being more of a vlog <laughs> for the events that were going on and I didn't do like big pieces of art as I'd wanted to but I think it was a good start and I definitely want to carry it on I'm gonna try and do bigger pieces next time but as I said I like the fact that I was able to at least do just like little pieces even if I, it was just like one little collage or something I at least I did something <laughs> so that's a, a win for me at least. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, <laughs> I never know how to finish a voiceover, 
but yeah i hope you enjoyed what you saw i hope you enjoyed both the the two aspects of the video the kind of vlogging aspect showing all the art and the sitting down and making the art i hope i'll be able to do a part two i'm gonna definitely try and make myself do a part two so until then see you later